there, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a review of this fella, which is the Through Night TN12 Tactical Flashlight. That's it there. Nice pocket size light. On off on the end. And a button there for your different modes. Fully waterproof, one LED, one battery, which is a 18650 battery. And you get to the battery by unscrewing this end cap. There it is. It's a little bit like a AA on steroids. Very heavy, high capacity battery. So that slides inside the main body. You've got a nice seal around here. Grease to keep the seal good. That screws on very easily because you've got good checkering all the way around here and also here on the aluminium body. And when that's screwed down, that's watertight. Drop that in the water, it doesn't matter. If you lose it in the water, it doesn't matter. It's still going to be fine when you find it. Now this torch does not come with batteries, or at least it didn't where I got it from. So, I ordered it as a pack with batteries. I got two of the 18650 batteries, a charger, and the torch. That was off Amazon. Now I went for the flashlight, battery and charger bundle because I didn't actually own any flashlights with a 18650 battery. So I needed something to charge these rechargeable batteries. Now it comes with fairly minimal accessories, but at the end of the day, what do you need apart from battery and flashlight? Not too much. It does come with a little wrist strap, put that on. It means if you drop it, you're not going to lose it. It's not going to get damaged dropping on the ground because it's never going to hit the ground. It also comes with a little belt clip as well. And now that I've put that on, I'm having a hell of a difficulty getting it off. That is a really, really good fit. I would slot across your belt and that would hold it in position. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that took some getting off. That's a good fit. Now I think another important thing that this comes with, considering the fact that it's a waterproof torch, two spare seals, and the rubber for the end button, which is the on-off switch. I almost forgot, going back to this little case, belt loop, D-clip, Velcro, fits in there nicely, that's perfectly adequate. Moving on to some of the things I like about this flashlight. It's very, very well made, it's waterproof. It's exceptionally bright in its brightest mode. Just run through the modes for you. I'm not sure that's even been picked up. That's called Firefly mode. It's basically just a very dim light to allow you to see in pitch darkness. And the battery, I think, lasts for many, many days if you've got that on. It's basically using almost no power, minimal output. Only of any use in absolute pitch darkness. Next setting is a little bit brighter. Then brighter again, and then brighter again. All these are accessed just from this side button here. And then brighter again, but unless you're actually in pitch dark, you can't really tell the difference between the top two settings. I'll just throw out a quick epilepsy warning here. This is going to be a strobe effect, and it is damn bright. But if we hold this side button, get a strobe effect. And that seems quite standard across all of the through night flashlights. I would prefer to see SOS, the internationally recognized rescue signal. Three dots, three dashes, three dots. That would be of much more use because the last thing you want to do is stick this fella in strobe to try and get somebody's attention and then have them keel over when they're about 100 yards away from an epileptic fit. So we've got end cap, with on off button, side button to cycle through the modes. I do like the idea of how the body of the flashlight extends just beyond the button to prevent accidental turning on. That's a good design touch. And that's about it really. Just a very, very well made, exceptionally bright flashlight. So enough of me slavering on about how marvellous this is. Let's see it in some dark situations. 
it needs to be pitch black for you to get a good impression of what I'm actually seeing when I'm using this flashlight. least powerful mode on the TN12. This is known as Firefly mode. It's basically a very dim light, just bright enough to see you through woodland in the pitch dark or keep you on the right track. Notch it up. That's brighter than most torches and that's one of the lowest settings. And that second setting is easily bright enough to enable me to navigate my way right up to the top of this tunnel. Notch it up again. Ah, that's super bright. That's amazing from such a little flashlight. It's got one more. That's even brighter, but it's very difficult to tell. Not much difference between that and the last setting. We're going to give the strobe a go now, so anybody suffering from epilepsy, or think they might suffer from epilepsy, please skip forward about 10 seconds. certainly bright enough and that's going to get somebody's attention if they're looking straight at this. Not sure how well this is going to come out but this is the TN12 on full power at approximately 35 yards looking across my pond in my garden. Now looking at this in real life, it is lighting up a hell of a lot more than what I can see in the viewfinder, so hopefully it'll come out on video. Not sure it will though, but you can see it's it's lighting up quite a lot at approximately 30 to 35 yards. Well hey, isn't it marvellous? Here is our new god. Go out and buy one. But that's not where this review ends. I don't want to just bestow untold praise upon this. So what I would like to see from this and what isn't currently offered by Through Night is a series of coloured lenses. Just rubberized with a coloured lens. You slot over here in green, blue and the most useful colour for me, red. I've spoken to Through Night about this and they're actually looking into making coloured filters for their various flashlights. So that is a real result. There's the white light. Now, those cat's eyes are in the middle of the picture there. But you can see them better when I move the main beam off. Look at that, they stand out very well. You don't need masses of light. That's with the red filter on, and those cat's eyes are still really bright, but there's hardly any wasted light. There's no reflective light. It just highlights the eyes. And that means that other things you're hunting are not really going to notice this light. There you go, you can see Angus isn't too bothered about the red light. I wouldn't want to shine the white light in his face, but look at his eyes there. Exactly the same as a rabbit's eyes, they really stand out. If I was somebody looking over from the other side of the valley, I just would not be able to see this red light. <laughs> Hello. So overall, am I pleased with this? Yes, without a doubt. Did it cost me a lot of money? It is quite a lot of money to buy one of these fellas, especially when you take into account that you need to buy the batteries and a charger if you haven't already got one. Well worth doing though because it is an excellent, excellent flashlight. I can't recommend it enough. 